Hey guys, welcome back to Past Amazing. Today, we've got more update news for you guys. First, we got an official sneak peek from Supercell, and then we're gonna talk about more update leaks. It seems like we're getting so many update leaks for this update. It seems like every day, new things are coming out. So yeah, let's start off with the official sneak peek. So today's sneak peek, was the scatter shot. This is the new defense available at Town Hall 13. I briefly talked about this in my previous videos. Uh, that was the mysterious new defense coming with the Town Hall 13 upgrade, and I wasn't sure what it is, but now we know it is called the scatter shot. Now, as you can see on the screen right now, I'm playing some gameplay of what it does. And basically, the scatter shot is this brand new defense at Town Hall 13. It's able to target both ground and air units, so nothing is immune from the scatter shot. And the scatter shot basically flings its projectile of loosely tied rocks toward its target. And upon impact, the bundle will basically break apart and cause additional damage in a cone shaped blast. To the units behind the initial target. So if you have a big group of barbarians and the scatter shot sees the barbarians, it'll go ahead and target like that first barbarian in the pack, but due to its splash damage, it'll end up destroying like a whole pack of barbarians. It's crazy. You guys can see the footage on the screen right now. And even against like baby dragons or dragons, a lot of other troops, it's doing a significant amount of damage, even just to single units alone. But when you pair it with that splash damage, this thing just does so much damage uh, to a lot of units in the area. You can get two of these at Town Hall 13, and also they will upgrade up to level two at the moment. So yeah, certainly this will change the strategy at Town Hall 13. We're gonna have to uh, find out like exactly how when the update does release. Uh, but yeah, for now, that is the scatter shot. Expect that to come in the next update. And uh, yeah, that was the official sneak peek for today. Now, as I promised, we have a lot more update leaks uh, to show you guys about other stuff that will be coming in this update. First of all, I want to talk about the new hero. Yesterday, I kind of left off at just revealing the image to you guys of what the hero is going to look like and I didn't have any additional information. But now we have some more information about this fourth new hero. First of all, take a look at this image right here. So as you can see at the bottom, it shows the new hero, right? But it also shows that its max level will be level 20. So as you can see, it has that fire emblem, meaning that is the max level for this new hero. Another thing you can also uh, kind of note from this image is that you can indeed bring all four heroes to battle. There were some people, you know, speculating that maybe Supercell would only allow you to bring three heroes to a battle and you have to kind of like choose uh, which three heroes you want to bring. However, this image does confirm the fact that yes, all four heroes can be used at once in a battle. So yeah, that's kind of what we get from here. Now also take a look at this image right here. This was apparently posted by Supercell in another country because it is in a different language. But this basically shows the four heroes, right? It has the Archer Queen on the left and then the Grand Warden and Barbarian King. And then it also has this fourth hero. It's kind of ripped, right? But the spotlight is focusing on this new hero. And although you can't see the full image, you can see enough of it to clearly deduce that this is the new hero that we've seen in the other leaked images. It has the same headband, it has uh, the same color hair. So yeah, this is clearly referring to that fourth hero, and this is kind of another confirmation in addition to all the other confirmation we've got that a fourth hero will be coming to Clash of Clans. Alright, one last thing about this hero, as you can see from this image right here, uh, the hero is shown on the right hand side and this is kind of just a clearer image of what this fourth hero is going to look like. I know the last image I showed you guys was slightly more blurry and uh, kind of hard to tell but yeah hopefully this is just a bit more clear to you guys uh, for you guys to see the you know details of that new hero. Now a couple more things I wanted to note on this image. We will be getting level 7 skeleton spells as you can see right now the level 6 uh, skeleton spells are no longer maxed in this image, meaning we will be getting at least level 7 skeleton spells in this next update. Another thing if you notice is that the clan castle capacity is now at 45 troop space, whereas at tunnel 12 the current maximum is 40 troop space. 
That extra five space means so much. It means you can carry a P.E.K.K.A. and a dragon in the same clan castle, or you could carry, say, a golem and an ice golem, right? There are so many new possibilities made possible uh, with that extra five space. However, the spell capacity and the siege machine capacity for this new level clan castle will not change in this update. All right, moving on to the next leak in this image, we can tell two things. First of all, the big one is the new troop. As you can see to the right of the miner, that is the new troop. Now, of course, this person has not unlocked it yet. I'm assuming this is a developer build, um, so it's still grayed out and we don't know any details about what this troop will do or anything like that. But we know that is what the troop is going to look like. Uh, to me, it kind of looks like it's a dog or something like that. Uh, it has some kind of mask on it. You know, it's kind of hard to tell because it is grayed out. Um, but yeah, that is the new troop. We will definitely be hearing about that in the coming days. Another thing you can tell from this image is that the Ice Wizard will be making a comeback in Clash of Clans. If you guys remember from last year, we got the Ice Wizard as a limited edition uh, troop for the winter season. So I think it was only available for like a few weeks, um, probably in the month of December last year. Um, and then Supercell took him away. But now he is back, uh, probably for a limited time as well, just for you know the next few weeks. But yeah, this is confirmation. We will be getting the Ice Wizard, as well as, like I said, that new troop that will be coming. Now, speaking of new troop, Supercell actually posted an official video. Uh, so this is directly from Supercell. Uh, it's very short. It basically just shows this blob of, I don't even know, a blob of elixir or something, just bouncing across the screen. And that's just all it shows. It's like five seconds of just this footage. Um, I'm not sure what this is supposed to mean. Could that be a new troop? Could that signal something? Could it have something to do with Elixir? I don't know. Um, but from what I can tell, the troop that we see uh, in this official footage from Supercell is slightly different from the leaked troop that I showed you guys in the previous image. Like, this Elixir blob does not have a mask or anything like that. Maybe this is the new troop that we're talking about and it just has its mask taken off. I really don't know, but uh, maybe you guys can speculate in the comment section what you think this video means. Um, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys this from Supercell. All right, moving on to our next leak right here. This one is very simple. It just shows the new level laboratory. So yeah, this is the laboratory level that will be unlocked at Town Hall 13. Uh, it definitely matches the Town Hall 13 theme, so I definitely think this is legit. And uh, yeah, that means we'll be getting a lot of new troop levels and spell levels in this next update. All right, one more leak right here. So I already showed you guys the top half of this image. That's the new level cannon and the new level wizard tower for Town Hall 13. However, it turns out we might be getting an additional level of cannons and an additional level of wizard towers with Town Hall 13, meaning that you'll be able to upgrade twice uh, your cannons and wizard towers. So yeah, we're getting a lot of new defense levels this update. Uh, besides just the cannon and the wizard tower, I've already showed you guys a bunch of other defenses that we'll be getting new levels, including walls at Town Hall 13. Uh, you can check out my previous videos for that. And then like I showed you guys earlier, we're getting a lot of new troop levels, a lot of new spell levels. And then of course we got this new defense, the scatter shot. We got the new hero coming. We got a new troop coming. There is so much coming this update. Like this is crazy. Um, it's gonna be one of the biggest updates ever, I think to date uh, with this Town Hall 13 update because there's just so much coming. I can't remember the last time we got a new hero, like the Grand Warden, that was so long ago. Um, but yeah, we're finally entering a new era of Clash of Clans. I am super excited about this update, hope you guys are too. And yeah, that is it for this video, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and like this video if you did, and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already for all the latest Clash of Clans updates, news, and leaks. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.